Monday, June 15th, the edge of the Dyer Marsh. The Legion has come 250 miles in little more than two weeks. Not returning west to safety, but headed north toward the melted cities of the Trau and Ballos Fortress. Back in Forest Hart, Ulrich convinced our officers that the West was lost, that our small force could contribute nothing to the hopeless battles that would soon be fought around Madrigal, Willow and Tandem. These cities would fall, he said, and all their people would die whether we sacrificed ourselves or not. Then he told us what we could do instead. Ulrich was interrogated by Balor during his captivity, and he learned by chance that Balor had bound each of the fallen to himself to ensure their obedience to his will. The fallen draw their power through these links, and were Balor to be killed, they would all be powerless. The armies of the dark would collapse. So Balor must fall. But today we are only at the edge of the Dyer Marsh, nearly 500 miles from his fortress, with the Watcher waiting in ambush ahead and Soul Blighter shadowing us from behind. We have a long road before us. A few men and I are leaving the main column in a few moments to discover the fate of a scouting party which has not returned. None of us expect to find them alive, but we must recover an artifact carried by their leader, Griuman, Lieutenant of Archers. Like we have a trail to follow. Okay. I guess that is blood. This will be a little hard on your colorblind gamer, but I can take a hint. Don't have to beat me over the head. We'll go have a look there. It appears that we won't be doing any more dwarf wrangling for a bit. So just got a very basic setup here with a few warriors and archers, so that'll be a good change of pace. I do have some unit renaming to do, so I'm going to pause the game here for a second and take care of that. Alright, there's that taken care of. So our warriors now are Cynic, Lackloss, Rin, Delta Omega, and Ixthu, yes. while our archers are Bois, Goldwacker, and Sarasathikos. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing something. But we've got a trail to follow, so let's head out. Yes. Along with these blood splatters here, it looks like there's at least a few arrow fragments cast about as well. Yes, sir. Given that we're looking for a missing lieutenant of archers, that's probably a sign. Maybe not a, a good sign per se, but at least a sign that we're on the right trail. Some more blood there. And up and to our left. So it looks like we're going to have to go around this spur here. Hey oh, wait a minute. Yeah. That was that was new. Looks like those guys just kind of yanked themselves out of the ground there. Yes, sir. I I guess that explains the cutscene that we saw. That was the dark planting some thrall for us to find. It's a clever little trick, but I don't think they really pulled it off well here. Let's get em. We are going to have to keep it in mind for future reference, though. If those guys had popped up in the middle of our archers, then it would have been a little nastier. So. Yes, sir. We're right. going to want to um, let our so let our warriors lead the way as we explore around. Yes. We have a soulless inbound over the river there, which is the reason I'm moving my warriors. Yes. Hey. Okay. 
Good. I wanted to get an early kill under my archer's belts. I really can get a little frustrated dealing with non-veteran archers, so... The more kills we can get them here, the better. Yes, so, speaking of which, let's see how they deal with this Solus. It's actually pretty handy to have the Solus mesmerized by those warriors over there. Come on. Yes, sir. Okay, you guys are pretty bad. And your warrior buddies are paying the price. Step it up here, archers. Okay, there we go. Ready. So we do have a couple of kills now. Hopefully that will improve things just a wee bit. Next time we find some bad guys, we'll see if we can give the archers some space to work on them. We're moving. i got to be a little careful about riding the fast-forward key here. Um, I mean, there's always a danger of hitting an ambush when you do that, but eeks, yeah, yeah, like there. In this mission, it seems like that's a special problem, given that the enemy can really literally come out of nowhere. But so far, so good. guys. Okay. More blood here. Oh, wait a minute. Got another lonely little Solus coming off the cliff. So let's see if we can draw him down onto lower ground. More meat for the archers. Yes, sir. One thing about this environment here is it's a little hard to see the solar spears. They can be kind of camouflaged against this background. So it makes dodging them a little more difficult. And as for our blood trail, it's heading up again to higher ground. So that's, I guess, expected. If you were a lieutenant of archers, that's You'd probably yep. head for the high ground to make your last stand. If you're getting the impression that this is not maybe the most strenuous myth mission, then you'd be correct. I mean, it is going to ramp up here in a little while, and there are a couple of tricky moments, but it's probably the easiest one in the campaign. At least the easiest to win. It's also fairly easy to lose an archer if you're not careful. That's mainly just a chance to work with some really familiar units, kind of cruise around, chill out, kill a lot of bad guys. A change of pace from the jawbreaker missions we've been having. So, n nothing nothing wrong with that. We're on it. Okay, sir. I managed to really mess up my presets there, but I think we'll be okay. Looks like Delta Omega is the unit who's going to pay the price for my mistake. I, I would be pretty ashamed to lose a unit on this map, especially a warrior, so... Delta Omega, you are on notice. No dying. Yeah. Alright, well... I think we know where Lieutenant Grumman made his final stand here. I would recognize those chunks anywhere. So we found our missing lieutenant, unfortunately, and we've also found something that he dropped. This would actually be a good time for me to mention the mission goals, which I don't think I've brought up yet. So it says that we're supposed to follow the trail of blood to Grumman's magic bow and return to where we started with it. So we gotta go there, get it, come back. We can do that. I don't think that Thrall is going to have much of a use for a magic bow, so we can probably convince him to part with it. good time to get another archer kill. So, have at you. Very patient thrall. Uh, yes, 
Pesky Solus. How are we doing over here? I think we'll have to let the warriors take out the trash there and the archers deal with the Solus. Alrighty. The immediate area is clear, so the next question is who picks up the bow? All our archers are very green. It looks like the answer to the question is Sarasathikos here because he has three kills. So the other thing to think about is last time we grabbed a magic bow, it was a trap. And given that we're dealing with mole men undead here, I'm a little paranoid about this situation. So there's two ways, two exits out of this plateau. I'm going to set up here at the one we came in and just send in Sarasathikos. So if it is a trap, we'll hopefully be able to fight our way out in that direction. Oh, yeah. uh, yep, surprise, surprise. Okay. Not that many thrall between us and the exit here, though, so we're fine. There is a big ol' glob of them on this side. Oh, on both sides. Um, well, let's see, our warrior's about to finish those guys off. Let's have them set up here, and I think we're going to give our little magic bow a try. Bow of Furious Incandescence. Okay, that sounds cool. Have at it. <laughs> oh, yeah! Okay, let's do that again. I like that. I think we're going to need to share it with this other group of thrall. Yes, sir. It does look like it has a pretty big area of effect, so I'll make sure we have a good minimum safe distance here. Yes. Oh, well, we got 13 more charges on it. That is awesome. Yes? Okay. Do it again, Daddy. <laughs> oh boy. I have a new favorite weapon, I believe. That was mine. Well, let's just let the warriors right. clean that guy up. And have the archers head back down the hill. Yeah! Got it. We're kind of following our own little trail of blood in reverse this time. Ours is a little less subtle. Alright, anybody want some furious incandescence? Got it. Ah, you do, don't you? More playmates. And they've got at least one fetch along with them, so that's cool. We'll be able to show the fetch what a real lightning attack looks like. Look at these guys, more thrall? They can't get to us yet. Alright, well let's see if we can knock out some of those solace. And then we'll just wait for the fetch. That is beautiful. Okay. okay, well that looks like all of them. Let's see if we can get back up here in time to intercept that group. Yes, sir. Because you just can't have enough furious incandescence. That's yeah. what I say. Do we really want to waste a charge on those remaining thrall? How healthy are they? Pretty healthy. Except for that one in the middle. 
I don't know. Not sure how many we're going to have to fight through on the way back, so I think we'll just uh, take these guys with our conventional weapons. Once we soften them up a bit, the warriors should be more than capable of taking the rest of them out. Also gives my other other archers a chance to get a few kills, maybe. Yes! And stay down. Take that! Come on, finish him off. There you go. Okay, back to the river we go. Again, feeling very paranoid about fast-forwarding into an ambush. We're moving! Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. There it is. Well, not very impressive, really. I guess it would have been more impressive if it had been right under our feet. Yes. Now, if they were really sneaky, they would have had one behind us as well to ambush us when we backed up. See, if I were the evil overlord, the dark would be doing better. Okay, I think it's time to use another charge from the bow. Are we far enough away? Yeah, probably. Ready. Fired up. Okay, one more large lump of thrall down. Yes, sir. And we're almost back to the river. So, who's next? We have uh, easy pickings over here. Whoops, wait a minute. More ambushers at close range. Eh, easy on the friendly fire there, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boom. All right, we do not want the fetch to get close. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room from them. Got it. Hey, hey, hey. No shooting at archers. Charge it up. Did that take care of that sniper sold us as well? I think it did. No red dots on the map anyway. Okay. Back to where we were. And how are we doing on charges? Ooh, only two left. Yes, sir. I may have been enjoying it a little too much. We'll see. We're 
almost home free though. I think this is where we had our very first thrall ambush right here. Anybody else want some? Two charges left. Get them while they're hot. No, well, apparently not. I think we may have made it out of here. We're moving. Hard to believe how Grumman could have died carrying this thing around. I guess it's in better hands now. The stats here aren't all that surprising. Obviously the archer that was carrying the Bow of Furious Incandescence had the majority of the kills. The only important thing here is that we got everybody through, no casualties, so I believe all these units will show up on the next mission as veterans. So that's very nice. The picture in the victory screen here is a little odd. I would assume this is the arm of the Watcher, and it looks like one of our archers is doing some arts and crafts with it. So I guess to to figure out what's going on there, we're going to have to go to the next level. <laughs>